Hello everybody and welcome to Milestone Study. My name is Anusha and in this video, I'm going to talk about scoring and timing of all the questions in the PD exam. Are you doing the important questions or are you focusing on non-important questions which have very less marks? Let's find out. Before we move ahead to the content, do not forget to subscribe to our channel because that's what keeps us motivated. We have also applied for our silver button so it must be coming anytime soon. Watch this video till the end and like it if you feel it gave you some value. All right, so you can see a big chart over here. There are 20 types of questions in the PD test. You must have watched my previous uh, format video where I've explained all these 20 questions. If not, please go and watch it. Just type milestone study format and you'll get it, okay? Uh, or I'll link it in the description. Uh, module wise, there are four modules, speaking, writing, reading, and listening. And there is timing as well for individual part. Like speaking and writing is conducted within 54 to 67 minutes. Then reading comes uh, which is 29 to 30 minutes, then listening is 30 to 43 minutes. Now, moving specifically into the speaking and writing section, the first question, uh, which is read aloud, uh, has six to seven uh, tasks. And individually, you get 35 to 40 seconds to prepare, after which there's a beep tone and you speak. They give us 40 seconds to record our answer, but we only take uh, approximately 15 to 22 seconds, okay? But it's approximate. You do not take it as one rule, okay? It's not a rule. There is no criteria as to how, how long you take, but generally people finish within 15 seconds to 22 seconds. Uh, Marking-wise, you have 30 marks for the reading section for speaking section and 25 marks for reading section. The content that you get from read aloud goes towards the reading section, okay? So be careful, read all the words properly. Uh, do not skip as much as you can. If you wanna skip it because it's a hard word, skip, but make sure that you don't fumble or you don't pause at that point, okay? Next up is repeat sentences. There are 10 to 11, 10 to 12 questions. And if you can see all the way through, this is the highest number of questions uh, that falls under repeat sentence. Time adjustment, preparation time is nil. That means you don't get any extra time to prepare or write down notes. Uh, whatever you do is within the audio time. Then after that, you get a no beep tone, but the answer time is for 15 seconds. You speak within three seconds and move on, okay? In all the speaking questions, uh, make sure that you speak immediately, otherwise your fluency may go down. So preparation time. Then comes the marking, which is 30 for speaking and 20 for listening. Now this is estimation um, based on our experience and also based on what Pearson has guided us in their score guide uh, because they have three marks for um, content, five for pronunciation and five for the fluency. Okay, so when we make an average of it, it comes down to 30 for speaking and 20 for listening. Third question type is describe image, where you have, a disc uh, have to describe an image, maybe pie chart or bar graph. Uh, there's a template, you watch that template as well. Uh, the video is separately uploaded. Uh, three to four images will come. Preparation time is 25 seconds. So you look at the image, whatever is written there. Uh, there is an answer time of 40 seconds. There's a beep tone as well. And after that beep tone, you speak, okay? Um, marking for each question, take it as five points. So overall, you get 15 marks from describe image towards speaking only. And there is no reading, writing, or listening marks from describe image. Therefore, uh, do not focus on content much when it comes to describe image. The fourth question is retail lecture. You hear a lecture, you have to note down some points, then retail whatever you heard using a template. You watch the video for a template of retail lecture. One to two questions only, each question five points. So on an average again, 10 points if you get two, okay? Uh, now the timing uh, is accurate, but the speaking marks has been adjusted so that we come down to the figure of 90, okay? It could be going up or down depending on how many questions come in your exam, in your set. Answer short questions, the last question in speaking, uh, very irrelevant. It does have some marks like you can see here, five points for speaking and five points for listening. So if your answer is wrong, you get less marks for listening 
as well as speaking. So make sure that you know the answers. If you don't know the answer, just say, I don't know or pass or no idea or whatever, and then click next, okay? Uh, coming down to writing section, summarize written text, you have to write a summary from the text given uh, within a certain word count and time limit. Uh, the word count is five to 75 and the time limit is 10 minutes. You get only one or two um, and the marking seven points for writing and seven points for reading. Uh, how they calculate it, they give us uh, form marks, grammar marks, uh, vocab marks, and uh, one more is no spelling here, content, okay? So content, form, vocab, and grammar. These four parameters will be judged. You get seven uh, if you do it correctly. Essay, uh, it's kind of like, sometimes overrated and sometimes underrated question. So we want to keep it at the medium level, okay? Essay is medium, not so irrelevant, not so relevant as well, not so much important that it uh, affects a lot, but do not ignore it as well. One to two questions, answer time is 20 minutes. Please make sure you finish it within the time limit. Otherwise, um, you know, you get less scores for form, you get less scores for so many other things. Marking is 15 for writing. This does not touch any other modules. So don't worry about speaking, reading, and listening when it comes to essay. Now we jump on to the reading section, the hardest of all. Uh, because uh, why is it the hardest one? Because it takes a lot of effort from our end, uh, a lot of knowledge from our end to tackle these questions, okay? Whereas in speaking and writing, it is all about templates and all about your way of speaking. But reading is more about how much you can comprehend, how much grammar you know, you know, likewise, and collocations. So the first question, fill in the blanks, reading and writing, five to six questions. You take two minutes to maximum 2.5 minutes and writing is at uh, 25 points and reading at 25 as well. So look how important this one is in terms of writing. Um, so don't just blame essays when you get less uh, writing marks, okay? You got to see if you have done reading and writing fill in the blanks correctly. If not, then probably because of this question type. So 25 for writing, 25 for reading. Uh, multiple choice, multiple answer, not so much important. Uh, one to two questions will come. Do not take any time when answering this. Uh, you get only one mark for reading or two marks if you get two. Uh, there's negative marking, but don't worry about that. Mm, in PT, re, PT questions, uh, negative marking has very little significance, okay? A re reorder paragraph, RO means reorder paragraphs, two to three questions, time is two minutes, and reading marks, eight marks. Uh, none other uh, modules will get affected. Fill in the blanks, reading section, fill in the blanks only. This is not going to affect writing. So four to five questions, two minutes per question. So if there are four questions, then eight minutes. And the reading score will be 18, okay? Um, multiple choice, single answer, same as multiple choice, multiple answer. No need to worry about it. One mark if you get it right, and no marks if you don't get it right. But uh, try to attempt it, especially when you are targeting 79, you don't want to miss any point. So try it, okay? The last module is listening, which has 30 to 43 minutes. Uh, now, why such a huge difference? Why 30 and why 43? Because of summarized spoken text. If you get two summarized spoken text, you might get 43 minutes. If you get 30, that means you only have one summarized spoken text, okay? So summarized spoken text, again, a template. Watch my old video, 10 minutes to do the task, 10 for writing and 10 for listening. So again, you go back to writing, see? So writing actually has six different questions instead of two, don't think only summarize written text and essay. There are other four questions. Summarize written text, done. Uh, again, medium important, not so important, not very like insignificant. Multiple choice question, multiple answer, same as reading, not important. But the problem is you cannot skip the audio. You have to be in the audio zone, audio screen, even if you don't like it or if you don't want to hear it. So can't skip the audio. But as soon as the audio finishes, get ready to click next. Multi uh, fill in the blanks of the listening section. 
also important for writing eight marks for writing and 10 marks for listening again to balance it out um one minute if your typing is very slow if your typing is very good you can do it in 20 seconds okay then comes highlight correct summary one to two questions um answer time is 30 seconds uh this is also not very important but uh, yeah um do it okay do it if you can if not then just leave it for uh, your luck okay uh here uh, i have to correct this one because correct summary also got one mark for reading so we need to balance that okay one mark for reading mm, uh, let me just quickly write it here and we'll adjust it later on so one mark for reading now just to balance 90 over here we have to uh, make some arrangements in the other question types Mm, multiple choice question single answer not important hear the audio do your best but don't wonder oh this is right answer that is right answer don't spend any time here uh, these seconds uh, if possible don't spend okay if possible but even if you do if somebody's listening is very good they may get it right and that's where people get 90 out of 90 so up to you okay then comes ha, select missing word, highlight incorrect words. Yeah, select missing word also the same, uh, not important. See, wherever you see one, 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 not important. Highlight incorrect words, two to three. Now comes another important question. Uh, but answer time is none because not applicable. Why? Because you have to finish it when the audio is playing. Do not spend any time after the audio, okay? When the audio finishes, you should be finished with highlighting the incorrect words. Five marks for reading and eight marks for listening if you get two that means eight marks if you get one that means four marks okay four or five marks mm, right from dictation three to four questions the most important uh, after fill in the blanks reading and writing so uh, these two i can highlight because these two have the maximum score actually three questions have the maximum or and uh, you can also take read aloud as uh, and read aloud as repeat sentences okay uh, so if they fall in the same category the highest and uh, right from dictation you know it's the easiest for some and the hardest for some because of its nature uh, even like oh uh, and the are important so what can we do, okay? So here, O uh, and the L, Y, E, D, I, N, G, all of them properly. So first, red is the uh, highest important ones. Then comes, uh, disc oh, uh, wait, choose another one. Then comes describe image, 15 points. Uh, essay also 15 points, yeah. Um, next up is, the 10 point retail lecture and summarize written text and fill in the blanks and listening. Okay. And oh, I forgot to put fill in the blanks reading also. So we put fill in the blanks reading in this zone along with uh, essay, fill in the blanks, reading and describe image. They are not so hard if your uh, noun, verb, adjective, uh, knowledge is good, okay? So green means, again, we go less, less, less. Uh, let's put summarize written text in the same category, green category, and highlight incorrect words also in the green category. Okay, now the rest of it is like, so less. Even answer short questions, I'm not going to give any uh, importance. Mm, reorder, we put in the green category. Hang on. Reorder in the green category. Okay. So, red means the most important. Purple, second. Then green, third. And the rest... Just need to know these other questions. Uh, just go with that preparation is also fine. Okay. All right. Now we can take a picture of this. From here. Okay. And that's all. So 
I hope you guys learned something. If you have any more questions, any more requests, please drop them down in the comment section and we'll reply to you as soon as possible. Um, what, what else? If you need some classes, then also call us or message us. Uh, don't forget we have a toolkit as well where you get all the video links um, with mock tests and with uh, tutor feedback. Do not forget to book an appointment. If you have watched all my videos and you want to get a feedback one-on-one, -on -one, you can book an appointment or consultation with us. Um, yeah, that's it. If you need subscription of any mock test, uh, also remember us because we have already uh, gone halfway through our website, milestonestudy.com.au. Uh, it is under process. Speaking is almost like already. Uh, writing is underway and reading and listening also underway. So by another month, we'll be able to release everything at once, uh, including the mock test, including materials and the practice website. Thank you so much, everyone. This is Anusha. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to sign. Oh, oh, don't forget to subscribe.